So there's an enormous need for patients to participate in clinical trials. We know right now only 3% of all patients with cancer will participate in a clinical trial. We also know that the outcomes are better for patients who participate in clinical trials. And then finally, whether you're a Democrat, Republican, whatever your position is on health care reform, this whole health care debate has caused people to recognize that we need effectiveness research. We need to know if the treatments that we're giving patients are actually working. That's only going to happen with patients participating in clinical trials. We need to find ways to get them involved. I think the most important thing for a patient to understand is, is the relative balance of safety versus effectiveness of a given clinical trial uh, agent. The good news is these trials have been reviewed by scientific review committees, by ethics committees, and by groups of physicians both locally at hospitals and in many cases by representatives of the federal government as well. So what you know off the start is that they're asking important questions. And then it comes down to the individual patient talking to their doctor about balancing risk, risk and benefits of a given trial. But in general, I think almost always, care in a clinical trial is as good or better than it is off of a clinical trial. There's more monitoring, there's more attention to detail, there's more concern about potential side effects that occur, and there's lots of people watching how a patient does. And sometimes bringing all those extra eyes onto a patient's outcome can improve how they do. Well, I think right now is a time of incredible excitement in development of new therapies in lung cancer. We now understand that lung cancer is not just one disease. It's a whole host of different diseases caused by different genes that are, that are aberrant or abnormal. And the good news is we now have a number of drugs that we didn't have two, three years ago that we're bringing into clinical trial to directly attack specific genetic variants of lung cancer. And it's not just lung cancer. It's lung cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer. And I would just encourage as many patients as possible to consider this early in the course of their treatment. It can even be before they start their regular treatment. Making the right decision is often more important than making a fast decision.